Carolyn Waters is, lives in Milford, Massachusetts, and she is a singer-songwriter who performs in and around Boston and along the East Coast as a solo performing artist. And she also performs in other groupings, including the Rusty Mikes. Her style is described as socially conscious soul, reflecting a deep connection and love for all things music, as well as a commitment to music and the arts as a tool to promote healing and positive change, positive social change. As a songwriter, her original music not only looks to support and encourage, but also challenges people to examine and change the world in which they live. In addition, Carolyn works as music and arts director at the Common Street Spiritual Center in Natick, and she uses her position to create and support programming that awakens and encourages the buried voices within. And has, uh, Carolyn has provided programs over there uh, including healing voices to provide a safe haven to vocalize, and open choir, and sacred text singing. Carolyn's also a member of Revibe, a group of three organizations uh, focused on the healing arts and spirituality, and uh, this group is intended to offer inspirational performances of poetry and music to community. Carolyn has recorded two CDs, um, she has two CDs of her own, and she has also collaborated with psychologist Charlie Appelstein, a uh, very well-known um, social worker and um, consulting uh, parents and teachers and trainers around the world. Um, I once saw him at a psychology conference, and he's the only one I ever saw get a standing ovation by 500 500 teachers and psychologists uh, for the work and the stories he was telling, and Carolyn has provided songs for him, uh, which he has sung her praises for, so bringing her work to the psychology and healing world as well. Carolyn has two CDs of her own, and she's very active in bringing her songs of healing and growth forward into her circles and beyond in the community. And she is here with Con Dowd to share a few of her original songs today. So please help me say welcome to Carolyn Waters as she comes up to sing some of her. setting up. Let's give a hand for Mike Trojan in the back. <laughs> Thanks, Cheryl, for inviting me um, here uh, this morning. Uh, I love to sort of come out and share the music and hear the wonderful poetry and the spoken word um, artists who sort of grace and make this a better world. And I'd like to thank the uh, Polly and uh, who came before me um, because it was just wonderful. This is new. So for most of the set, I'll just be using it as a very comfortable prop, but this is new, and I'm incorporating it into a lot of what I do. Um, music helps <clears throat> connect us um, to what's going around in the world. It helps to heal us. And over the last oh, year or so, I've just uh, felt the need for healing music, and there's one song that just keeps coming back to my head that I, I just need to sing every time I, I go out. And everybody will know this song, so please feel free to join in. <clears throat> Like a motherless 
child Sometimes I feel Like a motherless child Sometimes I feel Like a motherless child So far away from my home Sometimes I feel Like the hope's almost gone Sometimes I feel that the hope's almost gone. Sometimes I feel like the hope's almost gone, taking me far away. From my home But then sometimes I feel Like I see a light Sometimes I feel like I see a light Sometimes I feel Like I see a light Leading me way To my home, motherless child, everyone. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel. Like a motherless child Sometimes I feel Like a motherless child So far You know, I find my writing and what inspires me um, is to sort of promote some positive change in this world. And over the years, there have been different things that have led me in different directions. And Cheryl, in preparation for something coming up, um, asked me about some work that I did with um, the Network for Domestic Violence. And um, I, along that time also did some work with um, some Jane Doe uh, safety fund. And I was just so inspired by the stories of these strong women who had to face and lead difficult um, situations. 
And it reminded me of a song that I wrote. Um, and I was just starting to write songs, so this must have been my first or even uh, probably my second song. But I was just so moved by what I was seeing and what I was hearing and what I was involved in. It sort of just came to me. So I thought I would uh, dust that one off. I haven't done it in a while and do that uh, for you. He wounds, he mars, he doesn't hit, but still he leaves the scars. He stabs, he breaks the spirit down but not the bones he weighs he shames her life is hell but he says she's to blame she hides, she cries, she sits and watches as the world goes by, she craves, she She wishes he was truly what he seems. She feels no song. The music in her life is all but gone. You gotta break away, fly above, and never let the hate replace the love. Take a chance, make it real. You gotta let it go so you can hear. They hold dream clear. They thought that they could make it through the years. Things changed when wrong. Life happened, and the strife outweighed the strong. Then, hey, so Every burden where their hearts belong. You gotta break away, fly above, and never let the hate replace the love. You gotta take a chance, make it real. You gotta let it go so you can heal. You've got to break away.
you know, sometimes when you sort of try to fight the good fight and you focus and you write about all that you would like to change and fix in this world, um, it could be sort of heavy. Um, it could sort of be heavy. It's a good fight. It's good work. It's something that I love to do, and I love the people in the community that surrounds me that love to do this stuff too. But every once in a while I have to stop and say there's other things in this world to celebrate. There's other things to look at. There's the sun, there's friendship, there's community, and there's love. And so occasionally I have to stop and sort of write that love song that everybody writes about. So <clears throat> this is one of those sort of love songs. Um, and I'm just going to do it for you. It's, gonna, it's called um, Falling In With You. I'm going to have to put this down for this one. Gonna leave my big old easy chair Pull on my old brown boots Going out to kick some autumn leaves There's nothing more I'd rather do Cause it's time, it's time I heard that songbirds cry before, before it turns to say goodbye And it's time, it's time to feel that autumn breeze Before, before cold drives us to our knees Gonna leave my big old easy chair Pull on my old brown boots Going out to kick some autumn leaves There's nothing more I'd rather do Cause the shine, the shine The shine of autumn skies Reminds, reminds Reminds me of your eyes Then I smile, I smile When I think about your face It takes, it takes me To a new exciting place Gonna leave my big old easy chair Pull on my old brown boots Going out to kick some autumn leaves There's nothing more I'd rather do With you With you With you So now it's for time for this. And uh, I've been sort of practicing and studying and wanting to incorporate this more into what I do. And um, this next song uh, is one of the last songs that I wrote. And I wrote it during the election. And, uh, sigh. I, uh, <laughs> I wrote it as I was watching the second debate. I, I remember it specifically because it was sort of back and forth and just so much hate um, represented on that stage. It was just so um, bad that um, I remember thinking, oh, save us. Somebody has to save us. And um, 
that's where the song sort of took shape. And I thought at the time, you know, you know, I'm gonna write this song and I'm only gonna have to really sing it for a couple months, you know, because <laughs> <yeah. laughs> the time will pass for the need of this song and it'll be something that I sing, but I, I won't need it after a couple of months. And strangely enough, I find <laughs> that uh, we still need it and I'll be singing it for a while. Um, so uh, this song is called um, In This World and that's the inspiration.
I have an uh, autism and Asperger's syndrome acceptance uh, poem for National Autism Acceptance Month, and this one's called Earthrise. A blue and white globe ascends to grace the desolate rocky landscape of the lunar surface. Much like the living spark of an eccentric misfit rises above the limitations of a lifeless world where everything is either freeze or burn and the human experience gets freezer burned locked away in the cold storage of death. The ascending globe offers to rescue us from business drones confined to the Huxleyan prison of mindless consumption and take us out of that rigid, hostile grave and bathe us in the waters of life, thus giving proof that being an outsider is not a sad thing to be pitied, but a badge of honor. Thanks, Maspie Chris. <laughs> Peach and pear.